Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Puchkai, one of the surgeons at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. I'm a professor of surgery here and also chair of the section of surgical oncology. My focus has been breast cancer since I've worked here and we're very interested in, in the outcomes of our breast cancer patients. We decided to look at what are the differences between obese patients and non-obese patients when it comes to the breast cancer. There have been various reports in the literature that have shown that patients with breast cancer and who are obese have a worse outcome. And we wanted to look at, at this fact and see why this is the case. We went ahead and looked at all our patients that we have treated here at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. And we were able to divide our patients into obese patients, those who have a BMI greater than 30, and our non-obese patients. About 25% of our patients were obese and the rest were non-obese. When we looked at the two groups, we found some interesting findings that I think are important and important for our patients. One, we found that those patients who are obese had larger cancers. Their cancers were much larger than the non-obese patients. At the same time, most of the cancers that were found in obese patients were found by mammogram. How do we explain this? We would think that those patients who had these larger tumors, we could feel those, but we couldn't. And so when we think about this, we, found, we think that those patients who are obese maybe do not undergo their screenings as regularly as their obese, non-obese counterparts. And there could be a variety of reasons for that. Studies have shown that obese patients don't go, undergo their screenings as regularly as non-obese patients. And it could be because one, they don't like to go see the doctor as much and they don't follow through on their screening recommendations. The other factor is obesity is related to other medical problems and sometimes there are other medical problems that are taking more time and the screening gets lost in their medical care. So we think it's quite important for these obese patients to follow their yearly screening and hopefully this will lead to a better overall survival. These obese patients not only had larger tumors but also had more, more chance of having lymph node involvement, which makes the cancer at a higher stage. Overall, when we looked at survival, there was a trend toward worse survival for those patients who were obese. So I think the study is important in the fact that we found out that obese patients present with larger tumors. And can we maybe impact this? I think we can. I think we can if we can get out the word to all our patients, including obese and non-obese, that follow up with their regular mammograms is very important because the sooner we find a cancer, the better we are at treating it and the better the outcome is.